Hello. I, oh, I love your background. That oh, is so thank cool. You. <laughs> thank you. Well, thank you for talking to me. First of all, I appreciate it. I know you weren't on the red carpet to talk to us that night a couple weeks ago, but um, congratulations on making it through also. Thank you so much. Can you start out? Talk, tell me how the song came to be. Like, where did the idea come from? So the song started with the melodies and just kind of like the overall music vibe. It wasn't really finished, but we had the melodies and then one lyric was kind of bouncing around, which was, it feels so good to be alive. And I was like that, there's something to that. And so I thought about what makes me feel so good to be alive. And, and really that's sort of like the adventure of going out and you know traveling to these different destinations, different tropical destinations with my wife. And um, so that's what I really wanted to bring. And, you know, for me, life is all about the journey. It's not about the destination. I, I really want to, and I, I do my best to enjoy the journey of just every day and, you know, taking in every moment that I can. And so I try to try to kind of put that into the song and put those vibes into the song as much as possible. And hopefully, um, you know, those good vibes and that positive energy will, will spread around and hopefully uh, make people uh, put, put them in a good mood. Okay. Now you, you said it wasn't finished. So did you fix this specifically for the show then? Like how did, how does that work? <laughs> yes. I worked with Andreas Carlson, uh, Jimmy Jansen, um, Desmond Childs, another songwriter on this. Uh, you know, I worked with these guys and they're big, heavy hitters. They're, they're pros when it comes to songwriting. So uh, I feel very, very fortunate. I got to work with them and we did this song just specifically for the show. You know, I knew I wanted uh to have something uh, really up tempo and upbeat and something that um, was just, you know, a really good first listen. Some songs takes, some songs are amazing, but they take a, a listen or uh, mm -hmm. you know, two or three times to kind of really sink yourself into it. And uh, because of the nature of the show, I knew I wanted something where you push play instantly, you're, you're kind of taken to this destination and you're sort of, uh, you're taken away from the rest of the world for a little bit. Right, right. It's definitely catchy. I, I don't know. It makes me think of, I, I don't know, like I can see it on a soundtrack or something. I don't know why, but that's, that's yeah, totally like sing three, right? It, so. <laughs> um, so you, you, it says in our little, our little kit press thing that we get that, that you, you consider it tropical pop. Can you explain a bit of more about your style and kind of where that, that came from and your inspirations? Yeah. So, uh, so Jimmy Buffett, you know, uh, Margaritaville, that's trop rock. And uh, when I discovered that, I was like, oh, that's that's a great, you know, play on words, tropical rock, um, trop rock is what they call that. So I was like, OK, I'm tropical pop, I'm trop pop. So, you know, because I still have that like dancey sort of synthy uh, electronic elements. But at the same time, it always has an undertone of tropical beachiness, um, you know, and a large part of that also comes from the song, um, the, the Pina Colada song, Escape. Because, you know, everybody, you can go anywhere in the world and you start singing, if you like pina coladas, everybody knows that song. Mm -hmm. And so I wanted to sort of capture that, that the essence of that song. And same thing with Jimmy Buffett and Margaritaville and what he does. I wanted to capture that and bring it into like a whole, uh, a whole music thing for, for myself, because I love things like that. You know, I love the mm -hmm. beach. I love tropical things. I love palm trees, uh, you know, rum tequila like just vacation vibes i'm all about it and so i wanted to put that into a musical project that really just makes people feel good and you know who who doesn't love wearing a wearing a nice floral shirt and sipping on a pina colada you know what i'm saying yeah yeah definitely so um who else though are kind of your your inspirations and the people you really look up to in music other than Jimmy. Uh, in music specifically, you know, my dad was playing a ton of Bruce Springsteen and in excess when I was growing up uh, at a very early age, you know, um, Elvis, Michael Jackson also was played around the house a ton. Then I got into like the boy bands, uh, NSYNC, Backstreet Boys. Um, I've always loved all of Justin Timberlake's stuff. Um, and then I saw my first rock and roll concert at Red Rocks in 2007. And uh, that was to a band called OAR. I'm a huge OAR fan. I got to go out on tour with them in 2019, which was the most incredible thing ever. Um, let's see who else. I'm a huge fan of the band McFly, which they're really popular in the UK. Um, Matchbox 20 has always been a, a, a big inspiration for me. Um, the Beach Boys definitely play inspiration into my music because they have that beachy thing. Yeah, I can see that. Um, so it's, it's a pretty wide range, you know, but uh, I'd say OAR is uh, probably like top of the list. 
Okay. Now, when you performed on the show, did you kind of decide everything yourself? Because I know some of the people we've talked to, it seems like they didn't, but I assume you did. It sounds like from like your performance and what you wore and everything like that. Was that all kind of you? I basically, um, I basically had a 30 minute conversation with the creative team and I told them what I'm all about uh, and what I want to represent as a person and as an artist and what I want to, what I wanted to bring to my performance, which was, you know, high energy, um, good vibes, spreading the love as much as possible. And um, so they, we kind of had this conversation and I was like, you know, I, I want to have like the floral, the bright colors, mm -hmm. but I didn't want to be confused with Hawaii or, you know, um, yeah. Puerto Rico or anything like that. So I really, you know, I tried to bring that tropicalness, but still kind of uh, have, a, have a good nod to Colorado. And what they came back with, that, you know, I, they basically sent me a, a, a piece of paper of like what the stage was going to look like. And I was like, that's exactly what I want. It was, it was perfect. Um, and then when I got to the stage, it was even better. Um, and we went all out, you know, we had, we had our pyro, we had confetti. Um, I got to crowd surf, yeah, uh, you, you know, we, crowd. we, we brought it all. And so it'll be interesting to see how this next round goes. Cause we're going to definitely have to raise the bar. Um, but we kind of, we did a lot, so it's going to be tough to raise the bar. But we're gonna have to figure out, um, figure out a way to do it. Yeah. That's what I was going to ask. You have to perform the same song, but do you know, I mean, I know you can't tell me exactly what you're going to do, but do you know what you're going to do yet? Or are you still kind of figuring it out? I have no idea. <laughs> no idea. Right. We're gonna, Fair we're enough. gonna, we're gonna, yeah, we got next week to do that. So I, I haven't started. Uh, maybe I, I keep joking with everybody. I was like, cause you know, we, we kind of pulled out all the tricks, you know, pyro, confetti, lasers. Mm -hmm. So I guess I'm, I'm gonna have to get in a harness and like go flying around the room, I guess. <laughs> do something. Hope, maybe they'll let you do that. I guess you'll have to wait and see. Yeah, um, maybe. So where were you when you found out you were gonna be on the show? Like, what was kind of going through your mind at that moment? Um, so it's kind of a funny story. So they originally wanted my brothers. They wanted the driver era. They wanted Ross and Rocky to represent Colorado. And when that didn't work out, my manager was like, well, what about Riker? And the show was like, yes, let's do it. So, um, I mean, I think I was just out. I think I was just in California. Actually, we had just gotten back. Um, what were we doing? January? I don't know. I think I may have been, I may have been out there skydiving with my dad um yeah actually that's exactly what i was doing my dad and i were skydiving and um got the call and it was like hey you're, you're gonna do american song contest and i was like absolutely you know any chance i get to perform is a good day in my book i live for this and and live television is something there's something so special about it it's just it's got an extra level of energy that i i can't fully explain um but you know this being a live sh television show i was like i was all in have you done live then before? I mean, live, I know you've done live. Have you done live television before then? It sounds like from what you're saying. I, I did. I played on, uh, I played on Good Morning America. We did Jimmy Kimmel. We oh, did wow. um, the Ellen show. We did live with Kelly and Ryan back when it was Kelly and Ryan. Um, okay. And then I did Dance with the Stars. I was on Dance with the Stars oh, in 2015. True. So, and it's basically the same kind of a setup as American Song Contest. You know, you do your rehearsals, you do your camera blocking your dress rehearsal and then boom you're live on television so it's uh honestly doing dancing with the stars has given me i think uh, a little bit of, of an advantage on this show because i'm so comfortable with live television now that i know exactly how it works and you know anything can happen producers can change things on you uh last minute and you got to be ready to roll with it so i'm definitely always ready and um i feel feel really good about my first performance we'll see if we can top it yeah i was going to say that was there anything i, I guess you're used to it, that was there anything you were specifically oh no did we about? freeze Whoop, I'm back. Are you here? You're back. Okay. <laughs> um, no, I, I was just saying, was there anything though you were specifically kind of nervous about doing it though still for the you show? Know, you know, I, I didn't want to go last, um, which was funny. The whole week I'm thinking like, oh, I don't want to go last because then I got to wait around. You know, I remember going last on Dancing with the Stars and you just got to wait around and you're just sort of like waiting for it and waiting for it. And it just seems like forever. And after the first rehearsal, one of the producers came up to me and they were like, that was awesome. We're going to go, we're going to end with it. And I was like, no. <laughs> so, you know, I, I was at the beginning, I wasn't too excited about that, but in retrospect, it was a huge honor for them to, to put that pressure on me, you know, cause they, they want to end the show on a, on a high note. And um, so I'm very grateful that I, I, that they believed in me um, to, to bring the house down for the, for the, you know, sort of the finale of that episode and um yeah i, I think i think it worked out I'm, I'm really happy i, I got to go blast and, and close it out 
<laughs> there you go. You froze a second in the middle there, but I think I got it up. Um, okay. So did you uh, talk to Snoop or Kelly at all? Like, did they give you any advice or maybe talk to you after the fact a bit more or uh, anything like that? Yes. Uh, no, no advice. They just, you know, Kelly came up to us and was like, your song is so good. Uh, you know, your energy, everything you're, about your performance is amazing. She was like, this was like a couple before she, inter a couple minutes before she interviewed us. Um, on the show and uh, she was like just just keep doing what you're doing she was like I love it so that was really really kind of her to take take time and, and say that to me um, and then I didn't get to talk to Snoop Dogg he gave me a fist bump um, but apparently on the carpet afterward after the show everybody was asking him uh, who who would he like to collaborate with and uh, I guess he, he said he really liked me so you know who knows <laughs> that try to make you cool. feel good right yeah um, Oh, I know what I was going to say. I lost track of what I was going to say. So are you more interested in pursuing music or are you still going to do acting or does it just kind of depend what happens or? It totally just depends on the project. You know, uh, that's like the famous question that, uh, that I get asked. Um, and it just depends on, on what it is, um, what the opportunities are. You know, uh, right now I'm absolutely loving doing this show. Um, I'm excited to bring out some new music when the show uh, finishes, maybe even get out on a tour for myself. Um, but you know, last year I, I wrote and directed a sci-fi comedy called Aliens on Halloween, and we took that around to the film festivals. Um, we got in a, a lot of film festivals. We got some awards as well, That's cool. and um, you know, I'm feeling very, very grateful for those experiences. And I'm I'm working on um, writing and directing my first feature film, wow. which I'll probably end up shooting in the next 12 months we're just now starting to talk to producers and um, talking to some actors about playing the lead role so we'll see what happens there but uh, okay. definitely going to continue entertaining on on all fronts uh, I that's my purpose in life is just to entertain and whatever that whatever comes up is uh, you know we'll, we'll we'll see what the opportunity is and we'll make a decision when the time's right all right well thank you I appreciate your time is there anything else you want to say to your fans when they watch the video i just want to say i'm so grateful for the love and the support um you, you know I, I definitely would not be in this next round without you guys because i i wasn't uh i wasn't anywhere near the top with the jury so you guys you guys took it took me to the next round took me to the semifinals, and i am very very grateful so keep those votes coming we can get to the final and we'll see what happens um and yeah thank you thank you just for love and support i appreciate it Great. And thank you for talking to me. I appreciate it. Oh, thanks for, yeah. Thank you, Jamie. Thanks for thank talking you. to me. All right. Well, congratulations again and, and good luck. <laughs> thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thanks. Have a good day. Bye-bye. You too.